They began arriving just a couple of hours ago. Junior doctors ready to march and protest at the new contract the government has said it will impose. This is London, but there are protests elsewhere, in Belfast and Nottingham and tomorrow in Dundee. There remains an impasse between the two sides. Letters exchanged over the past weeks between the British Medical Association and the Health Secretary have done nothing to calm the dispute. We won't go back to the negotiating table until we're offered the assurances that we want. Those assurances are safeguards so that tired doctors are not being overworked and risking patient safety. That means not being a um, contract that is discriminatory to women basically or researchers and it also means a fair contract so that doctors feel that they can stay in their job and afford to work in the NHS. Under the contract, which would start next August, normal working hours would become Monday to Saturday 7am to 7pm, which the junior doctors say could mean a 30% pay cut and no more penalties for trusts if they make juniors work over their hours. The Health Secretary insists there will be safeguards and that there will be no pay cuts. Well, it's very disappointing the way the BMA have chosen to misrepresent the government's position, stirring up so much anger amongst doctors unnecessarily. We don't want to cut junior doctors' pay at all. Uh, what we do want to do is to stop hospitals being forced to roster three times less medical cover at weekends, which means that you are 15% more likely to die if you're admitted on a Sunday compared to being admitted during the week. The majority of the Royal Colleges have both written to Mr Hunt and met with him in private in an attempt to bring this dispute to an end, and they've asked both sides to return to the negotiating table. Okay, uh, well, with me now is Rachel Clark, a junior doctor. I spoke to Rachel a couple of weeks ago before the protests had started and asked her how she was feeling. She was very angry then. Are you still angry now? I'm as angry as I've ever been in my professional life and I'm angry because Jeremy Hunt yet again today has come out with the same lies and spin and mismanagement of statistics as he has before. But Jeremy Hunt says it's the BMA who is misleading the doctors and he is equally angry over that. I'm like many doctors, I have a double first it, from Oxford. I'm perfectly capable of working out lies and, and miss statistics from the truth. I believe that this contract is dangerous for patients and that's why I'm here on this march. There's not a doctor in the country who believes a word the health secretary says anymore. And I have to say that that's reflected by many of the juniors or all of the junior doctors probably here today. There are also concerns that it disproportionately affects women because it, there will be no incremental pay under this contract for those who work part time or who take maternity leave or who, who go to do some research. There is no sign that this is coming to an end, certainly no sign at the moment that there will be any return to the negotiating table right now.